Hi everyone, myself Navya Taravi, working as assistant professor in the Department of Cyber Security and Data Science in MLR Institute of Technology. Today, I am going to discuss about the topic concurrent executions and serializability. So, the overview of presentation includes concurrent executions and serializability. And what is serializability? Serializability means ability to serialize. What? What we, what we need to serialize? We need to serialize the concurrent transactions. That means whatever the multiple transactions that are we are executing and those transactions must be done in a serializable manner. That is what about serializability. Next, what is view serializability? So, whatever, uh, whatever the operations that are concurrent, if at all those are conflict serializable, then obviously they can be view serializable. Okay. So, what is view serializability? It is a process to find out the given schedule is view serializable or not. To check whether the given schedule is view serializable, we need to check whether the given schedule is view equivalent. So, view equivalent means here they have to satisfy three conditions. Initial read, initial read, final write, initial read, final write, update read. These are the three, three steps, three points we need to satisfy to become view equivalent. Okay. So, a schedule will view serializable if it is view equivalent to a serial schedule. If a schedule is conflict serializable, obviously, then it will be view serializable. How many conflict serializable schedules are there? Those can be represented as view serializable. The view serializable, view serializable which doesn't conflict serializable contains blind writes. So, those, <clears throat> those operations or those transactions are not conflict serializable. So, then they can be view serializable, but they contains blind writes. So, what is blind write? So, here blind write is nothing but performing writing operation or updation without reading operation. Directly, we used to write the exam without reading anything. That is what blind write. Right. What is blind write? What is blind? Blind means just like that we are doing without any preparation. Writing the exam without any reading. That is what here also. So, performing write operation without any reading. That is what here blind write. So, if at all uh, a schedule is uh, not conflict serializable, it can be view, but it contains blind writes. That is what the thing. So, what is view equivalent? To become a schedule view serializable, it must become view equivalent. So, what is view equivalent? View equivalent means it must satisfy the following three conditions. What are those three conditions? Initial read, final write and update read. These are the three conditions. What is the first one? Initial read. Initial read of each data item in a transaction must match both the schedules. For example, that is here, if transaction T1 reads a data item X before transaction T2 in schedule S1. Then in schedule S, S2 also must happen in the same as in S1. Okay. Then in schedule S2, T1 should read X before T2 only. This definition will be explained with the example clearly. How? See, let us consider this is schedule 1, S1 and this is schedule S2. In this one, in this schedule S1, transaction 1 is reading a data item A. Okay. In schedule 2 also, in schedule 2 also, so the transaction T1 must read, must initially, it must read a data item A. That is what. Okay. An initial read of both schedules must be same. Initial read must be same. If a transaction T1 reads A in Schedule 1, then in Schedule 2 also, transaction 1 must read A. Okay, consider two schedules S1 and S2. In Schedule S1, if a transaction T1 is reading data item A, then in S2, in Schedule 2 also, T1 must read A. Okay, that is what initial read. What is final write? What is final write? So, here final write operation on each data item must match in both schedules. 
So, for example, data item X is last written by transaction T1 in schedule S1. Then in S2 also, the last operation on X should be performed by the same transaction T1 only. Let us consider this one with an example here. Here see this is schedule S1, this is schedule S2 and we have 3-3 three, three transactions in each schedule. Okay. So, <clears throat> final write operation. So, here final write operation. Initially, T1 does a write operation. Later on, T2 performed initially. See, first operation has been done by write operation. Later on, T2 and final write has been done by T3. Final write operation has been done by T3 here. Let us consider the schedule S2. Okay. So, here initially read operation has been performed by T2 and second operation will be performed by write operation for T1. Finally, the write operation, finally the write operation has been performed by T3. See here, both are same. Final write operation must be performed by the same transactions, both the schedules. Clear? That is what about final write. Next, update read. So, if in a schedule S1, if a transaction T1 is reading a data item updated by T2, then in schedule S2, only T1 should read the value updated by the T2 only. Okay. This can be explained very clearly with the same example. Okay. So, here, see, in schedule S1, we have, we have considered two schedules, schedule S1 and S2. Here, in schedule S1, the transaction 1 is writing a data item. Later on, this is the first operation. Later on, T2 updates the data. T2 writes or updates the data after T1. Okay. Next, the last step here is T3 reads the data item A which is updated by which is updated by T2. This reads reads a data item A which is updated by T2. Okay. So, keep this in mind. Let us consider in S2. Let us consider in S2. So, first the data item A is updated by T2. Okay. Next the data item A is updated by T1 again and T3 is reading the data which is updated by T1. T3 is reading the data which is updated by T1. But here T3 is reading the data which is updated by T2. So, we can say that it is, uh, it is not the above two schedules are not view equivalent because it, it is not satisfying update read operation. Any one of the operations if it does not satisfy then we can say that the given transaction is not view equivalent. So, view not view serializable. Okay. So, in this manner, we can able to derive what is view serializability. So, view serializability means what? It contains, it has, it has to satisfy three conditions. What are those three conditions? Initial read, initial read, final write and update, update read. So, these are the three conditions that we need to satisfy to become view equivalent. So, what we have discussed in this session about what? Concurrent transactions. About concurrent transactions. What is the purpose of learning about these concurrent transactions? Multiple users can communicate with the database at the same time. Collision may occur. Have to overcome. Okay. To make this concurrent transaction serializable. Here, we studied about schedules concept to make this concept uh, concurrent transactions serializable. Why? To maintain database in consistent manner. So, in this schedule concept, we use to see about serializable and non-serializable. In non-serializable, so here, 
here in this non serializable we used to deal with serializability and non serializability here serializable again we have read about conflict serializable and view serializable so in this session we have discussed about up to only conflict and view serializability and we used to discuss about non serializable schedule uh, in the next sessions thank you